Before going on to the next topic in capacitors, I wanted to reiterate that there are three meanings of V, and this can cause some confusion. In the engineering literature, they actually have separate terminology, which I think makes things a bit clearer. So one meaning of V is that you're talking about the voltage at a particular point in space or at a particular point along a wire. And in the engineering literature, they call that the node voltage. Uh, in chapter 24 of your textbook, the symbol for voltage at a point is V. But recently in class, to distinguish it from other meanings of V, I use the symbol phi. Now there's another meaning of V, and that's known as branch voltage, which is used in the engineering literature. And then in physics textbooks, the branch voltage is the potential difference across the terminals of a circuit element. Uh, we can also say that it is the voltage drop across a circuit element. And basically what you're looking at is delta V, which is the difference in potential between the two sides of the circuit element. For capacitors, that delta V can also just be written as a plain old V. And then finally, the third meaning of V is as a unit of volts.